Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I also try to discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can easily perform the correlation analysis using Google Earth Engine. So today's session I will show you that how we can easily use the NDVI, mainly Normalized Difference Vegetation Index and also LST, which is Land Surface Temperature and then further we try to find out that correlation between that LST and NDVI. So correlation analysis is a statistical method used to measure the strength and direction of the relationship between two variables. The most common types of correlation coefficients are Pearson correlation, Sparseman rank correlation and Candles tau correlation. All of correlation I will discuss further one by one. Today's session, I will discuss about that Pearson correlation coefficient, how we can easily measure the Pearson correlation coefficient, measure the linear relationship between two continuous variables. In this time, I use here the Landsat LST and also use for that NDVI. Okay, so this two map I already created for my region of interest. So now I try to use these two things. And further, I try to apply the Pearson correlation and calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient value and measure the linear relationship between two continuous variables. So basically, we find out that range negative one to positive one, this R value. Then I can find out that R equal one, it means that perfect positive linear relationship. When I find out that R equal to negative one, it perfect negative linear relationship. And when I find out that R equal to 0, it means that no linear relationship. So here you can see this is the, I already create this two map, LST, mainly land surface temperature and another is the NDVI. So it's one kind of normalized difference vegetation index. So now further, we try to find out that correlation between the two variables. One is that NDVI, another is the LST. So here you can see I already read the code about that. I will explain all of things one by one. So that's why I can easily get this idea. So here you can see this is the result about that correlation. Basically, you can find out that Pearson correlation R value negative 0 0.229. So it show about that perfect negative linear relationship. It means that higher NDVI value is high, then we find out that LST value is low. Suppose we can easily get this idea from this chart. I just simply open the chart, look like that. I already created the chart. So here you can see it show about that negative correlation between the NDVI and LST. So it show the negative correlation. Here you can see because you can see this is the one kind of value. Here I can find out that LST value is the 30, and I find out that uh, you can see about that LST value 30 and NDVI value 0 0.1. Okay, so it means indicating about that high LST value show the low NDVI value. Okay, so how do I find out that high LST value, uh, land surface temperature, it show about that low NDVI. But that also you can see when I find out that low LST value, mainly 21.346 degree Celsius, then I find out that high positive value of NDVI, 0 0.146. So also you can see the another value about that. So when I find out the 20.52 degree Celsius, then I find out the 0 0.187 NDVI index value about that. So then further we calculate about this, it show about the negative trend. So basically when LST is high, then we find out that NDVI is the low and higher NDVI is high, then we find out that LST is the low. So it find out that completely perfect negative linear relationship between that NDVI and LST. So now let's check about all of method, how we can easily create this type of things. So basically here I use here the two image collection. One is the Sentinel-2 image collection. Just I call the Sentinel-2 image collection. And further I just make the NDVI map. Okay. So in this time I just use the map function and further I create this NDVI uh, using the near infrared band and red band. Okay. So this is the B8 is for near infrared and B4 is that red band. We are just simply use the normalized difference function and calculate the NDVI between this time period year of 2020, January to December. So after doing these things, we are just make the monthly aggregation. 
So this data set, we are just make the monthly aggregation and create the monthly time series chart of NDVI from January to December. So for that, we are just create the another variable. So basically in this time here, you can say I just create this uh, monthly image collection using this data set. But that we just try to show about that map layer. Same process we also do for that. In this time, we are just using the Modis LST data set. And then we make this monthly aggregation about this data set. And further, we are just combine these two data set. Okay. NDVI and LST just simply combine using this function and then store it in here. Then further, we extract the NDVI and LST as a feature collection. Okay. So basically, all of NDVI value as well as also LST will just simply extract and combine. So here we find out that basically 12 combined values between that NDVI and LST we are just taking here. So you can check about the value. You can see we can get that LST value. This is the and this is the NDVI value for the 12 month. Basically, January December you consider in this time year of 2020 month of January December. So we can get the January. This is the value for NDVI. This is the value for LST. Also, you can check about that another month. So it's the February. We find out that you can see about that February and find out the NDVI value and LST value. So it up to December all of value you can just get in here. So and when you can get this type of value, so basically you can get about that NDVI value and LST value for uh, 12 months. Then further we are use this data and we can easily find out that correlation chart. Okay. And further we are just calculated that this type of correlation value when we are indicating about we can see this is the correlation value. We can get that perfect negative value which is indicating about that the inverse relationship between that NDVI and LST. So basically this is the process about that and further we are just uh, use here you can see about that Pearson correlation. So basically you can see this is the one kind of function Pearson correlation. So basically this function calculated that measure the linear relationship between two continuous variable um, mainly Pearson correlation. We are just calculate the reduced region and then further we just calculate this Pearson correlation between that NDPI and LST. Then further we find out the value negative 0 0.229 and also get about the value, value 0 0.29. So in this time we can easily find out that R, R value is the negative. So it means that perfect negative linear relationship we can easily find out from here. So basically this is the process to find out that correlation analysis. And basically this time I show about that um, Pearson, but I also talk about that Spearsman rank correlation coefficient as well to talk about the candle stow correlation about that. So if you have any question or any doubt, you can simply comment in this video description. I will try to give all of answer. 